Stimulus checks have already started arriving to help ease the burden caused by COVID-19. Bill Sweeney is AARP Senior Vice President of Government Affairs. He joins us now with help to clear up some confusion. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. So who is eligible for the economic impact payments? Well, 2 million households in Maryland will receive these economic stimulus payments or uh, economic impact payments, whatever you like to call them. They're the same thing. Uh, it's $1,200 per uh, person who makes under $75,000 per year. Uh, it's $2,400 for a couple making less than $150,000 a year. And that it does include Social Security recipients, people on SSI, SSDI, or people who are getting Veterans Affairs payments as well. And how are these payments being distributed? So the payments are by, by uh, the vast majority of them are coming by direct deposit. And uh, for people who are on Social Security or veterans benefits, again, uh, as long as Social Security has your direct deposit information and they're sending you your check every month in your bank account automatically, you'll receive your stimulus payment automatically as well. If you do still receive a paper check, um, then you'll receive your stimulus payment via paper check as well. Do Social Security beneficiaries need to file a tax return in order to get a stimulus check if they haven't already? No, they don't. They don't have to fill out any paperwork at all. Um, there is nothing they need to do. They just need to wait. And uh, the payments should arrive hopefully very soon. What effect does the CARES Act have on the Social Security and Medicare trust funds? We made sure that not one penny comes out of Medicare or Social Security's trust funds. Uh, you know, people have paid into those, they have earned those benefits, and they need to stay around for years to come. And I'm wondering, outside of the stimulus checks, what else does the CARES Act provide that will, provide, or that will benefit older Americans? Well, I think some of the most important things in there is the funding for uh, health research that's happening in the National Institutes of Health uh, or at the Centers for Disease Control. Um, you know, this is just absolutely critical. Certainly in Maryland, uh, th this work is happening. And we need to make sure that we understand the virus, that we can maybe find some treatments or a cure or or maybe even a, a vaccine someday. And so that work is so important for older Americans and all Americans. Uh, in addition, the CARES Act has some uh, extra help for nursing homes. And we've seen that all across the country where nursing homes sadly have become ground zero for this virus. And so there's some emergency help to get uh, funding into nursing homes. And then finally, for those seniors who have retirement plans and IRAs, um, there's something, once they reach a certain age, they're required to take what are called require, required minimum distributions. Uh, the CARES Act suspends those for a year. So while the stock market is low, while their uh, portfolios might have taken a beating, they're not required to then take money out and eat that loss. They can hopefully let the portfolios rebuild themselves over time. Is there anyone who isn't eligible for these payments? So the payments phase out as your income goes up. So uh, as your income goes up to $99,000 per person, uh, the payments will phase up. Uh, well, I'm sorry, phase out. And we have a calculator on our website, arp.org slash coronavirus. Um, so you can find out if you're in that range. Once you get to 99,000, there is no more stimulus for those folks who are making more than $99,000 a year or $198,000 for a couple. And can you give that website just one more time for people who might need help or just want to learn more? It's aarp.org slash coronavirus. All right, Bill Sweeney, thank you so much. Really appreciate the information. And we'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.